source. This is News 24 at 5. And good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Price. We've got a lot of news to get to, but we begin in Springfield, where today the Illinois Senate passed a piece of legislation that would raise the Illinois minimum wage to $15 an hour. Local representatives Paul Schimpf and Dale Fowler both voted no to the bill. Raising the minimum wage has been a key topic of Governor J.B. Pritzker's campaign for governor. The bill now awaits a vote in the House. We will have more on reaction to the proposed hike tonight at 10. A train hauling coal derailed in Sparta shortly after it departed today. The Union County, or excuse me, the Union Pacific train derailment was reported at 7.58 a.m. on the north side of the city. This was in the area of Airport Road and North Miller Street. According to the Sparta Police Department, it is believed the rain-saturated ground shifted, causing the derailment. A spokesperson for Union Pacific said two locomotives and 13 cars filled with coal came off the tracks and ended up on their sides. One locomotive was leaking oil and diesel fuel. The Union Pacific Hazmat team is on site. According to the Sparta Police Department, no one was hurt. Approximately three crossings in Sparta are blocked by the rest of the train cars that did not derail. Crews hope to unhook this part of the train and have it moved out of the way soon. Police say inspectors with Union Pacific Railroad are beginning to clean up the spilled coal. The cleanup process is expected to take 24 hours. Severe weather reportedly knocked over trailers at a business in Ziegler today. According to management at Larry's Trailer Sales, there is damage to half a dozen trailers and two are flipped over. Some trailers are considered totaled. There are no injuries reported. This is on Highway 148. Emergency crews were on scene of an overturned semi on I-64 westbound today. This is at mile marker 121.5. The westbound lanes of I-64 were blocked for a time. Nobody was hurt. The Girl Scouts of Southern Illinois need your vote to win the People's Choice Award, Award for the Google.org Illinois Impact Challenge. With an initial $75,000 in funding from Google already secured, to uh, 25,000 will be earned from being selected as the People's Choice Award winner. The go the money will fuel the expansion of GS of SI STEM programming through building sustainable programming in rural and urban areas in our area. Throughout this grant, go or GS of SI's new mobile STEM lab will bring the same engaging hands-on Girl Scout STEM program to the girls who are sometimes hours away from city centers, typically providing more community resources for STEM exploration. Girl Scouts of Southern Illinois is a high-capacity Girl Scout Council serving approximately 10,000 girls and engaging 3,686 adult volunteers in 40 and a half counties in Southern Illinois. Much more news, sports, and weather is, can be found on our website, www.news24si.com. Now here's a check of your weather first.